So to work this table runner, you need to have one square motif ready and six uh, squares like this, only eight rows working. This have nine rows, this have eight rows. So you're gonna have one ready and six uh, with eight rows. So this is a square that I did in my last video. This square motif have nine rows. You're gonna have one ready and you're gonna have one with eight rows. So now I'm gonna show you how to join them together. You're gonna add yarn into the corner of the square that is not ready and you're gonna chain three. This chain three count as the first double crochet. You're gonna do four more double crochet to have five. So five double crochet, you're gonna chain one. You're gonna take the other square that is ready and you're gonna go into the corner. You're gonna go in, into the middle in the previous chain three and you're gonna do one slip stitch. Then you're gonna chain one. You're gonna go into the square that is not ready and you're gonna finish with five double crochet in the same space. So this is how we join them together. Then you're gonna skip one space here. You're gonna go into the next and you're gonna do one five double crochet. So five double crochet, chain one. Take the other shell from the finished one go into the middle do a slip stitch chain one then go into the other one and do then do the last five double crochet in the same space so our second shell is ready now we're gonna skip one space, we're gonna go into the next, again five double crochet, chain one, take the shell from the other square, do a slip stitch, then a chain one, then go back again and do five double crochet in the same space. Skip the next, next space, go into the other, make five double crochet. Chain one. Take the, the next shell, do a slip stitch, a chain one, and again five double crochet in the same space. Skip the next space, go into the corner, make five double crochet. Chain one, go and take the other corner, do a slip stitch, chain one, and finish with five double crochet. So this is how we join them together. This is how it looks. Now because I want to make a table runner, I'm going to finish this round row, row without uh, the, uh, the second part. So finish this, I'm going to tell you then what to do. 
Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do in the next space you're going to do one single crochet in the other you're going to chain uh, do five double crochet you're going to chain three then again five double crochet in the same space This is the row number nine from the square motif. So you're gonna work like this. Next space, one single crochet, in the next five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet, then again, single crochet, and you're gonna work like this until the end of the row. So I finished the square. Now I'm gonna add another one. So you're gonna have one more square worked until row number eight. You're gonna add yarn into the corner like we did in the, in the first square. You're gonna chain three. Count as the first double crochet. Four more double crochet in the same space. Okay, now we're gonna take a finished square and we're gonna do the same like we did in the and uh, when we join them you're gonna chain one go into the first corner do a slip stitch chain one and again five double crochet in the first space so we're gonna skip one we're gonna go into the next, we're gonna do five double crochet. Chain one, take the next shell, do a slip stitch, chain one, go back and do five double crochet in the same space. So we're going to join them together. When you come to this corner, I'm going to show you what to do. So I come to the last corner. I'm going to chain one. And we're going to take the first shell here. You're going to do a slip stitch, chain one, and then finish with five double crochet. So we closed our third square. Then you're going to finish the row, the same pattern, until you come to the end. So skip uh, one single crochet in the next space, five double crochet, chain three, five double crochet in the other, and you're going to work like this until the end of the row. So I finished the other square. Our table runner will, will, will look like this. Now we're going to put one more part in here. So we're going to join them one here and one here. So I'm going to tell you how to do. You're going to turn the work and we're going to start from this part here. You're going to do the same in the corner. You're going to do five double crochet, chain three, count as the first one. One, two, three, four, five. Chain one. Take the other corner, do a slip stitch, chain one, go back again and do five double crochet. Then you're going to skip one, you're going to do the same. Five double crochet, chain one, take the other part, do a slip stitch, a chain one, then again five double crochet. You're going to work like this until you come into the last corner and I'm going to tell you what to do. 
so I come to my last corner I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna take the corner not this one this one so you're gonna do here one slip stitch then a chain one then again you're gonna go into the same corner and make the five double crochet We close our fourth part now we have to close this part here so now we're gonna close this part here we're gonna skip one we're gonna do five double crochet chain one take the next shell do a slip stitch chain one then again five double crochet so you're gonna close it like this and then you're gonna work normal until the end here so I've done my four squares join them together now what we're gonna do we're gonna add one more here and you're gonna join it here and then you're gonna finish all the way around then you're gonna add one more here again you're gonna join it here and you're gonna finish and in the last one here up you're gonna join here and here then you're gonna finish all the way around and this will be our table runner